Alright guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. So here we have our boy Gotenks and Ghost. Um, this unit is a very, very good free-to-play unit. Got his easy A. He is like able to stun. He's able to have good defense. He creates rainbow orbs. Gets a lot of stats from rainbow orbs. When we talk about free-to-play units in this game, this is exactly the model that Dokkan should follow. Because this guy is not meant to come out the gate and do tons of damage. He's doing a bajillion other very useful things. Uh, I, of course, do have my boy Int Gotenks at full level 10 links. I have big time equips on him as well. Because, again, you know, I'm trying to get the fusion uh, su uh, extreme super battle no item run done. Very, very difficult. So this Gotenks is going to be a big factor here. Uh, on this rotation, I would love to have uh, Prime Battle Goku super attack first. But he would definitely annihilate that str goku because he also has fat full level 10 links for me so right here we're gonna have what golden warrior and super saiyan uh active so this go tanks right gets seven percent attack and defense per key sphere obtained then he gets another 30 percent attack and defense per rainbow key sphere obtained and he also greatly raises attack and defense for one turn so has a 50 percent attack and defensive buff for one turn and he has a 50 percent chance of stunning so the most important thing is to get, like, four rainbow orbs per turn, if possible. And we are indeed going to be able to get that. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's see what his defense jumps up to. 89k. So he's basically at 90k defense. So he's going to get basically another 45k defense on his super attack. Again, I've built him to be primarily additional. Because, you know, not only does he raise his defense by 50%, but also the 50% chance to stun. So obviously that's really what we're aiming for in, like, the extreme super battle road runs. Uh, is him potentially double super and getting stuns and then increasing his defense. So this Gotenks is a super important aspect uh, to try and get that no item run done. Right now, during the weekends over on 5.9 Gaming, uh, I've been streaming no item attempts uh, for the Fusion team, uh, and it's been rough. Uh, the stage is definitely... Uh, it's not that it's the most difficult stage in all of Super Battle Road or anything like that, Honestly, like, not counting what units you have, the most difficult stage might actually be the Extreme STR stage um, of just, like, the original 10 stages of Extreme Super Battle Road. But, like, you know, the units are just so overpowered that the stage just doesn't even feel difficult whatsoever, right? Um, now, there's a lot of different things uh, to sort of keep in mind, right? Like, the team I'm, I'm rocking is I have full level 10 links across the board. For the entire team that I use, right? Uh, all of the fusion units, I've got them full on equips and stuff like that. So because this is such a big thing on the channel right now, is me sort of like going through this fusion no item run. I'm going to make sure to get all these level 10 link videos for my entire fusion team. I've already done Int Gogeta. I've done the AGL Blue Gogeta. Now we're working on Gotenks and Ghosts. Uh, I do have to do the video as well for the uh, LR at the STR LR Blue Gogeta. I have to get his video done as well. Um, and then the other unit I like to use is the Int Transforming Gotenks. I think the next team we'll look at. I'll just use that team, um, and we'll, we'll you know for the showcase here for Gotenks and Ghosts. Um, so we want four Rainbow Orbs, right? Again, that's absolutely crucial if possible. Let me go ahead and hit this for Goku. Um, and then are we able to get four? That's three, three. Uh, we're not able to get four rainbow orbs. That's okay. All right, so let's see what his defense is. It's at 37k. What links do we have active here? So we have Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Prepared for Battle, and the Saiyan Lineage all active. So, uh, you know, key is definitely not going to be an issue for this Gotenks most of the time. Let's see what his... Okay, so he's up to 90k defense. So sort of on these rotations, that's about where he's sitting. This is good, though, because right at the start with the Super Saiyan team, uh, we've seen the numbers that Gotenks is putting up without any additional support uh, from allies or anything like that, which is, is pretty good to see, right? Um, all right, so next, let's have our boy uh, Gotenks see what attack stat numbers he's going to put up. Again, he puts up pretty reasonable damage for a free-to-play easy unit. You know, he can get to around 2 million depending upon the circumstances. Defense is going to be like 130k with Rainbow Orb changing and collecting the Rainbow Orbs. It's very good. Again, I'm a, I am a huge positive fan of this Gotenks here. I, I think they did a absolutely tremendous job with his easy eight, right? Like, for real. He, he is very, very good. I think both him and the Candy Vegito were like very very well crafted uh that this halloween uh 
2020 gave us some really, really solid units, right? Like, I mean, without this guy having his EZA, and then also, like, you know, the new in Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and stuff like that, like, man, am I not sure that, like, the no... Like, I don't even think the no item run would be possible, right? Because, like, Gotenks, he previously got 30% attack and defense per Rainbow Key Sphere, but now he also gets 7% attack and defense per Rainbow. Like, that's huge, right? All right, so with the physical Gotenks, we'll have six out of seven links active. So we have Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Prepared for Battle, Innocence, Fuse Fighter, and Saiyan Lineage. The only link he doesn't have active here, of course, is Shattering the Limits, because um, this Gotenks is a fierce battle unit. Uh, that physical Gotenks, I believe, I also do have him at full level 10 links. Yeah, I'll have to do an actual video on him as well. Um, three Rainbow Orbs, three... Yes, looks like we're going to get three right here. That's fine. And we can do that seven orbs right there. So let's go ahead and... This is probably going to be the highest attacks that we've seen from him so far. Obviously, being up linked up with this physical Gotenks, um, he's going to be able to put up some at least decent attack numbers. Yeah, there he is above two mil. Pretty good. Um, Again, I, I like... Normally, I, I've been saying this now, like, back in the day, a one million attack set, like, you know, could hit that. That's pretty solid. Now, I sort of do change that. Like, I feel like the goalpost has been moved to, like, 2 million. Like, honestly, like, a, a lot of these units, if I'm using them, unless they're really contributing heavily in other ways, I need these units to be hitting at least a 2 million attack set. Uh, you know, rainbowed with, like, level 5 links across the board or something like that, right? Like, 2 million is what I want to see. Like, this Gotenks is now... He, he's starting to age a little bit because his defense isn't great. His attack isn't great. But he is still solid. Uh, with the rainbow orb changing rainbow orb changing is such a powerful ability that those units do look Really really good just helping the team out, right? Um, all right, so Now let's go ahead and see what our boy Go tanks will rock right here. So this is all seven links active um, We'll put high school gohan first. Can we get four rainbow orbs? No, looks like we're probably gonna get three unfortunately, um that is a shame. That's the only thing, right, is I wish I would have been able to... Uh, no, that's four right there. Seven orbs and four rainbows. Beautiful. So what's he, what is he going to be at? Oh, he's going to be, like, over 100K right here, huh? Yeah, 123K. Ooh! This is a really good turn for our Go Tanks and Ghosts right here. Uh, obviously, High School Gohan is a tremendous free-to-play unit. Uh, I would actually... I would probably say the High School Gohan is a little bit better than Go Tanks and Ghosts. But Gotenks to Ghost is still an outstanding unit. Like, these are, like, the pinnacle of free-to-play TURs for me. 2.6. Damn, that's really good. That's really good. Considering his defense is, like, 200k right there with the 50% chance to stun. And Rainbow Orb changing. And the healing with Rainbow Orbs. He's good, man. There's no doubt about that whatsoever. Gotenks and Ghost is a very strong unit. All right, so now we are rocking the Fusion team. Now, I didn't really build this team just to sort of be like, oh, go tanks. We got the 170%, you know, Goku and Vegeta leader, and we've got physical Kid Buu. This, this, this part is more so me talking about the team I'm rocking for Extreme Fusion to Battle. This is a team I'm trying to no item it with. Um, it's the reason I don't have Goku and Vegeta on the team, by the way, is because they don't really link up the best with a lot of these Fusion units. Like the way we got it built right here. They all are sharing Fuse Fighter, right? Goku and Vegeta, sure, they could have prepared for battle with, like, one of the two Super Gogetas, either the, in, uh, you know, EZA Gogeta or the AGL Super um, Super Gogeta, but it's... I, I've found that they're, they're not as impressive as you would think in that stage. That stage is brutal. So the two Gogetas with their chances of dodge is a little bit more effective. And then I use LR Blue Gogeta for my leader because he's a little bit more well-rounded in his leader skill. 150% across the board is good because AGL Blue Gogeta is only giving 130% to defense and HP. And then the physical uh, Goku and Vegeta, they're only giving 130% to defense. And it's like really any extra points of defense I could scrounge up is very important for units like Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta to be as tanky as possible. And then obviously in Gotenks. And then of course Gotenks and Ghosts as well. All right. So let's see where we're sitting at here. 34k. We're going to be able to get a lot of rainbow orbs. Now, one thing to remember with this Gotenks, he does not get extra key per rainbow orb. So, like, the way the pathing is going to work, it's not going to prioritize going down rainbow orbs. So, like, let's say Gotenks got three key per rainbow orb. 
we would be able to get five orbs by clicking this one right here because it would do the first three rainbow orbs and then it would veer to the right just to get all five rainbow orbs, I believe, right? But uh, it's more beneficial for him that he does not get the key, uh, extra key per rainbow orb because it allows you to get the burst because he wants as many um, key spheres as possible because not only is he getting the 30% attack and defense for rainbows, but he's also getting the 7% attack and defense per key sphere obtained as well, right? And as you guys can see, he's able to hit a pretty consistent and good number. Um, all right, so there we are right there. If I had put Gotenks and Ghosts in the middle, I would have gotten Super Saiyan active and Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta as well. But the only thing about that is even this Int Gotenks might have finished that cooler off right away, so it's fine. Um, again, with this team build, I, I have put some thought into using STR Gotenks. The only problem is that I, I think like the scariest portion of the fight is going to be the final battle when there's only one enemy left. Now, because the team is so int heavy, I'm probably going to try and get rid of physical fat boo first. And then if I just have that SDR Gotenks against just the AGL Kid Boo, his support won't be active because there's only going to be one enemy. And then also he's got type disadvantage. I just think I'm setting myself up for failure. Plus, I, I just like, like really it's between him and the int Gotenks. And even though the Int Gotenks is not the greatest in his base form, after he transforms, he is a hell of a unit. Um, so honestly, I think we could probably finish off these Metal Cool... With this full Gogeta rotation right here, this is the type of rotation that, you know, in Super Battle Road, this is a scary rotation. It depends on how often the Gogetas want to dodge. Now, one thing to remember is that with the recent update on GP, all medium chances in the game have become 30%. All high chances in the game have become 50%. So that actually did buff some of these Gogetas. I believe both... I think both the AGL Gogeta and the Int Gogeta, both of them, actually got their dodge chances raised from 25% now to 30%, right? Yeah, AGL Gogeta did. And... Int Gogeta did not. Int Gogeta's was already a 30% chance, but AGL Gogeta got buffed from the update. So that's good. Um, and, you know, if you guys have watched my videos for a while, you'll know that I've often said, to me, it feels like there is a difference between 25% and 30%. I, I feel like I've always been able to, to feel that difference. So the fact that they made that universal across the entire game, and all these characters now have like a 30% chance to dodge rather than being stuck with like the shitty 25% um, that's going to be very big. And again, the reason I use this in Gotenks on these item runs is his Super Saiyan form right here. This Super Saiyan form is ridiculously powerful. He is so freaking good. Okay, so we're going to have four links active with this Go Gotenks right here. We have what? Super Saiyan. We have Golden Warrior. We have the Innocence. And then we also have Fuse Fighter. All of them active right here. That's going to be good. We're going to be able to get four uh, Rainbow Orbs as well. That's five... Well, that's seven with four right there. Okay, so yeah, we'll go ahead and do this right there. So we have four rainbow orbs along with just seven orbs overall. And that's going to get him to some pretty consistent, pretty good stats, right? So, you know, typically this is like... I, I, I don't really like have set rotations because the stage is just so hard. You don't really have time to play around with rotations. The only thing I, I really want to keep in stone typically when I'm doing these no item runs is Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta has to be slot one or at least it on rotate, kept on rotation and taking the brunt of attacks. Um, and then the LR Blue Gogetas have to be floated every single turn. I must float the LR Blue Gogetas every single turn because they are unable to take hits whatsoever. But in the third slot, they do have a 50% chance to dodge, which is, is very effective in the Super Auto No Item runs. Now, of course, I need really good luck because... You know, I need Blue Gogeta to dodge most of the attacks aimed his way, but typically it does work out with LR Blue Gogeta. He's not really the weak link of the team. If anything, as ridiculous as it sounds, it's like this AGL Gogeta, like if only he was able to be blue the whole time, like that would help. This guy is probably the first unit that would get replaced off of the team for the no item attempts or this Gotenks, one of those two. But this Blue Gogeta is still very good with that chance to dodge. Now, obviously, this no item run would be a joke. If we, if this guy was a fusion leader and I could have two of him, I'd have this done in five tries. Because <laughs> this guy is just so dominant. He completely carries the team in every single way. But it's just, it, it's tough. This this run is very tough. So, 
All right, there's my section showing the fusion team. Um, now let's go ahead and head over maybe to the hybrid Saiyan team, uh, and we'll try and get some more stats out of our boy Gotenks. All right, so now we are over here on the hybrid Saiyan slash savior team. Uh, this, of course, is going to be a pretty good team uh, for Gotenks to look very good on. Uh, we're only going to be able to get one rainbow orb right here. And what links do we have active here? Okay, so this is Shattering the Limit. Uh, what is that? Saiyan Lineage and... Wait, actually, real quick. All right, so our boy Gotenks has Shattering Limit, Saiyan Lineage, and then that's Innocence is what our girl B-Pan has got. Remember that B-Pan is still quite a good unit? It's like, I kind of... I don't really feel guilty using her like a lot of times depending upon the type of unit like i almost feel sort of guilty using them on showcases too much like a perfect example is this is physical kid boot who like when it comes to like outside of dokkan event content like i'm never really using physical kid boot but b pan at least i do use her quite a bit uh super battle road stages battlefield and stuff like that like her she does so she has so much utility with her healing her stunning her early super attacks um her uh damage reduction you know like her active skill like b pan contributes a lot very heavily um to a lot of the teams that she's on so you know for a lot of times with showcases stuff like that you know using her active skill I, it's not really i don't feel too guilty about rocking that uh let's go ahead and see what damage our lr tech gohan will do right here this should be pretty high <laughs> Uh, I also brought, of course, the 50% support uh, Int Kid Gohan. Um, <clears throat> he will work at least reasonably well with this Int Goten. There's a lot of, like, 50% supports who don't actually work that well um, with a lot of the units that they would sort of be supporting, right? But I, I don't think that's really too much of an issue here with this Gotenks and Ghost and this uh, Int uh, Gohan. Because remember, Gohan is also creating orbs which Gotenks really badly wants, right? Okay, so this is a pretty good rotation. We have the STR Gotenks. I mean, obviously, it probably should have been fighting multiple enemies, and this STR Gotenks would have been having a support type ability as, as well, but it's fine, it's fine. Because uh, Int Gotenks is not really supposed to be doing the, the most damage of all time. He's more so he's just doing so much to contribute, right? Which is very, very helpful. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and grab this. We're going to have three Rainbow Orbs. What is our stats at? Okay, 41k defense beforehand. You can go ahead and do this. And then that gets him up to 100k defense right there. Pretty good. So at, every time Int Gotenks and Ghost would be super attacking on this turn, he's giving himself 50k defense per super. That is very, very helpful, right? Uh, by the way, this SCR Gotenks, I should probably link level him up uh, in preparation to maybe use him. 2.85 right there. Pretty good. But to maybe potentially use him for, you know, the extreme Super Battle of Fusion no item runs. But I don't know if I really want to use him over any of the units I'm currently using. Because I think, like, in Gotenks, you know, really the point is to try and survive. Like, against Kid Buu and Fat Buu, like, I, I really want to get control of that fight super quickly. And then, you know, at that point, like, in Gotenks, if he could just transform 70% chance to stun and everything else he's doing, so... I think that would be the smart way to go about it. So let me know what you guys think of the Int Gotenks and Ghost at full level 10 links. I think he's a very good unit. He contributes a lot to a lot of different teams in a lot of different ways. I think this is one of the better free-to-play units in the game. So let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.